Anyone 16 and older can now get vaccinated, as we know here in Florida. The Pfizer vaccine is the only vaccine that they can receive since it's the only one approved for 16 and 17 year olds in particular. 18 and older can receive the Moderna and the Johnson and Johnson. It is a little confusing, we know. Pediatric infectious disease doctor and former president of the Duval County Medical Society, Dr. Mobin Rathorn, joins us this morning on the morning show specifically to answer questions about the vaccine in our teenagers. Dr. Rathor, always great to have you on the show. Good morning. Thank you, Jennifer. So what is your message to parents who may be concerned this vaccine might affect a teen's developing body? Well, this is actually a great day that we can finally get the vaccine for some children. And I think the parents should have no concern. These vaccines have been tested in thousands and thousands of uh, individuals, and there is no reason to expect any concern uh, with children have, acting any differently than the adults have. So I think they should, uh, make, they should make sure that they get their children to get the vaccine. So I think it's interesting because I do still believe, based on the, the what I hear from members of the public, that there is some confusion about how the vaccine works in your body. Would you explain? Well, the, the, if you're talking about specifically the Pfizer vaccine that was 16 and 17 year old, it works like your USB drive works on your computer. Uh, think of the vaccine as the USB drive. You put it in the in, in your computer. Uh, it has an application which is the messenger RNA. It goes in. Uh, it, your hard drive is your uh, uh, cell. It goes in there, uh, tells the uh, ribosome, the factory that makes proteins, that you need to make proteins against this antigen, which is responsible for the disastrous results of an infection with uh, coronavirus. And it produces those antibodies. And then you pull the uh, USB drive out, and there's nothing left on your uh, in, in, on the computer. Similarly, after the vaccine does its job, uh, it produces antibodies against the virus. In case your body is exposed to the virus, you are protected. So it's as simple as that. Yeah. So it's not it's not changing, you know, a teenager or anyone else's DNA, for example. Absolutely, never even gets to where the DNA is. The DNA is inside the nucleus. It stays outside. So you know, it doesn't even get if you if the nu house is your nucleus and your yard is your uh, cytoplasm, it stays in the yard. It never even gets into your house. So there's no way it can impact your DNA. Okay, that's such an important point. So some parents may not think that their 16 or 17 year old needs the vaccine, given the fact that we've heard that kids this age, typically, if they do develop symptoms, they're pretty mild or they may not develop any symptoms at all. How do you respond to parents who say, well, my kid doesn't need it because they won't really get sick if they get COVID-19? Well, that's true that uh, children do seem to get a, a milder version of the infection, but that doesn't mean that children don't get serious infection. We have seen children who get a serious infection, get hospitalized, get into the ICU, get intubated, get on the ventilator and even die of it. But also don't forget, children also get this dreaded disease called MISC four to six weeks after they didn't even know they had the infection. So that's one part of it. But there's another part to it I think the parents need to know. We are never going to get to herd immunity until children are also part of the immunization uh, uh, process. We have to get to that 90, 95% immunization rate for, and for to do that, children have to be immunized. One last point, Jennifer, in the history of infectious disease, I am not aware of any infection that or disease that has been that has been eradicated without the use of vaccine. Smallpox, we don't even hear about it. Vaccine, polio, vaccine, measles, vaccine. So we have to, in order to get rid of this virus, this infection, this pandemic, we need to get people to be immunized and, and get to herd immunity. Yeah, it's, 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 if not for yourself, but for the others around you, certainly. Dr. Rathor, thank you. Thank you for your time this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jennifer.